How you doing? This is Zach Allen. I'm just taking a look at some archive footage here of Mike Tyson, right? One of the greatest boxers of all time and one of the deadliest punchers of all time. He had something what a lot of people refer to in boxing as a very heavy hit, right? Which just means he delivered a lot of force as he threw these punches and a lot of speed and velocity. Here's some of his best knockouts of all time. And I think there's some principles that we can use in his technique that I think really coincide with exactly how we develop the same type of strength, force, and speed in the golf swing. But we've got to understand some things about how our body works, how to move it correctly, and how to move it efficiently. Some rare footage here of Mike Tyson working with his trainer, working on those heavy hits, working on those powerful punches. We're going to slow some down here and take a look at exactly what he's doing to create all that power and leverage and how it can help our golf swing. So one of the things that you're gonna notice here as he starts to throw one of these uppercuts is watch the position he puts his body into. Here, you notice the first thing that he does, imagine if this was a left-handed golf swing, he's lowering his center of mass, he's getting his feet into the ground so he can explode up and rotate. Watch the hips rotate and clear, the body thrust up and turn, very similar to exactly what we're trying to do in the golf swing to develop the most power. Let's go ahead and explain that to you. So that was some great training footage of Mike Tyson. And you'll notice that many of the punches that he was throwing there, especially some of the knockout punches, some of the uppercuts, some of the ones that are really meant to deliver a lethal blow, you would watch him lower before he actually starts to drive and turn into that punch. And it's the same thing in the golf swing. In order for us to get the most power, and to get the most of our weight behind the swing so we can really deliver that same heavy, powerful hit, we need to be in the correct position. Our technique with our lower body, our sequencing, all has to be right. Um, the thing that happens here, right, because in a golf swing, we have to get the club up nice and high, right, to, to get more leverage, to get more arc, so we've got more time to generate speed. But the problem is so many people are swinging down from the top without getting their lower body to start correctly. And it's not a matter of just firing my lower body and starting my hips down, because you can see that doesn't look very powerful. It's the same thing that Mike Tyson is doing there. He's taking his center of mass, right, which is about right here in my body. This is the center of mass of the club, right, the balance point, center of mass of my body. He's making sure that he gets the center of mass of the club down to where it's pretty level with the center of mass of my body before he actually starts to drive up and through. Down this way, up and through, shoulders coming out and around. That gives us so much more potential to really continue to move and drive through the ball. And the thing to remember is, the longer you can keep the ball on the face and your body pushing it through, the more force, the more speed we're gonna transfer to that golf ball. So for those of you that are out there and they're swinging from the top, Right? Their center of mass is really high coming down, so the center of mass of the club stays high. Basically, all we've got there, it'd be like me punching this bag like this. You can see there's no power and force. My upper body's forward, my right shoulder's high, the club is high, and all I've got is what I can pull down with my hands and arms. So remember, from this view, what we're trying to feel is we're trying to first feel that lowering movement. I'm lowering and rotating. That's how I can really feel my spikes dig into the turf, and I get the club into a powerful position. By powerful, I just mean you notice how my right arm just reattaches to my body, and the club gets into a nice, shallow, slightly inside delivery. From that position on, I can really start to push and move out of the ground, driving the club through the ball, keeping the club and ball contact for as long as possible, really sustaining that compression that I've created at impact. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you some drills that we can do to get that exact same feeling. Okay, I've got a drill for you to try so we can get into that same Mike Tyson position. We can really get a sense of our lower body leading and lowering, rotating slightly so we get our right arm into a very powerful position. Wonder where we can really throw a nice uppercut punch to deliver a lot of force and speed. No punching from up here. You see what happens when my body gets forward, my center of mass gets up, all I've got is just my hand and arm swing. So the thing that you'll feel, I'm gonna take a ball, I'm gonna put it on a very short tee. I've got an eight iron here to start with. And 
what you'll notice, I'm going to go ahead and just feel that position. I'm not doing anything with my hands and arms. I'm just leading by digging, pushing my weight into the ground, rotating a little bit. I feel my spikes digging in, and that gets the club to lower into position. Now from here, I'm going to start to put some speed and some force into it. But there's so many of you out here who your first instinct is to do it right from the top. We've got this urge to hit, the club gets quick from the top, and you're really actually costing yourself speed, and you're getting your body in a position to where you, you lose your leverage, you lose your ground force. So start slowly with this drill, up, work down and around into the ground, allow the hands and arms and clubs to follow. Now I've got the center of mass of the club pretty much level with the center of mass of my body. I'm about right thigh. Now let's go ahead and hit it. And I didn't hit it really hard, but I could actually feel the club was in a position where I could pull and drive it through the golf ball. As soon as I start to move from here, all I'm doing is I'm pushing the club down to the ball, and that doesn't equate to a lot of power. So I think force-wise, when I did that first one, I probably hit it about 30 to 40 percent. It wasn't very hard. I'm just getting a good feeling and a good sensation for a different position. So I'm leading out, I'm lowering just like Mike did. I'm getting the hand and arm to, to shallow and lower. Now let's go ahead and turn it on and hit it. But I definitely can feel my lower body leading from here and then myself driving all the way through to a nice smooth finish. For those of you that have been hitting from the top, casting, coming over the top, getting out in front of the ball, all those different misses, swinging too hard, swinging too quick from the top, this will give you that sensation of that heavy hit and what that really feels like. Do some drills at home slowly at first, get a little sense of that, and then start to hit some balls. And hopefully by the time we're all out playing golf again, we'll all be swinging better and hitting the ball a little bit farther. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching that video. If you really liked it, feel free to subscribe or give me a thumbs up. I love hearing from you guys too, so definitely drop a comment with any questions or concerns. But if you really want to get a lot of my content that's not on YouTube, I have an email list. All you need to do is click the link below, put your email in, and you'll be getting all this content for free that nobody else gets on YouTube. Lessons from me that come out almost every other day. I'll talk to you soon.